community. <laughs> More like persistent infection. We'll let you know if they turn up, okay? Does that sound good? What, do you guys have somewhere to be? He's got to feed his dog. <laughs> Seriously, his dog's deaf. You got to stomp on the ground so you can feel that vibration. Hey, let's go buy Tony's. I want a quesadilla. Yeah, well, I don't. Well, I do. Uh-uh, I'm driving. Get rid of that, please. Don't take another step. Whoa, whoa. You know this guy? He's Patrick! Who the hell's Patrick? So does that relic even work? Oh, it works. Used it just the other day. I can't believe you pointed a loaded gun at us. I was worried about you. Worried why? How do you unload this? Uh, let, let me do that. Don't worry about it. Oh. Actually, you might know this. Arnold was wondering, does ammo expire? I was just kidding, Mish. No, you weren't. You asked You me. know, it's odd. I've never known Clem and Barb to rent out their cabin. Well, you haven't been up here for a few years. Yeah, and with Clem's health and all, they come out here less and less. Holy shit, look at that. <laughs> Gut busters. Wow. Yeah, I haven't had one of these in years. He can't stop shoving them down his they, they still sell them down at uh, Dell and Dots. You know the place? Of course. <laughs> so, you're a writer, huh? Sling and Snare, it's a hunting and fish mag. You ever heard of it? No, not my taste. What is your deal? Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I guess I better be getting back to it. Thanks again for all your help. Yeah, good luck with your book. Yeah, you as well. Good luck with your... What the fuck, you psycho! Is that he's not who he flirting? says he is! What do you mean he's you not who he says with he is? So who is he? The king of cottage country. The fuck does that mean? My wife's on the shy side. Never once set foot in Kansas City. Too loud. Mr. Kane, you might have mentioned that you already sold over your half of the land to the railroad. I knew how it would look. You have to understand, I only want what's best for my brother. And what is that? We thought Jeremiah was dead. The army sent a telegram that he'd been killed in Virginia. An administrative error, it turns out. We didn't know that. Mrs. and I took in his wife. I had to take care of her. She was never comfortable here. Her grief was deep. Before she died, asked me to bury her on their land. Now Jeremiah watches over her. <sighs> that land's a shrine, is what it is. It's no way to live. When the railroad came calling, I left at the chance. I thought my brother could finally put this behind him. It's not doing him any good to be there. Every morning, waking up, stuck in the past. Well, you might not have to worry about that much longer if he doesn't let us help him. I'll talk to him again. Thank you, Detective. 